Hi, this is David at stoneyard.com. So I'm out here today to show you that Boston Blend Round Thin Veneer is quite easy to trim. So one of the things I like to do is kind of just grab out a couple of pieces. I want to mix up the color and you know like this one I'm not going to use because it's too big. I like this nice lighter one. I got a couple of darker ones. I generally like it when the stones have a little character. So you see how this is a little bit wider on one side, a little narrow on the other side. So what I'm going to do is maybe I'll position this this way or this way. And then, you know, I'll say, okay, I'll put a stone in here and then say another stone in here. And then this will give me the ability. But let's zoom in here. So I can kind of open this up just a little bit more. And this is all that's required. This is a bush hammer. I'm just gonna kind of just lightly trim this. Put this back in. That fits perfectly. So now I want to kind of look. And so if I take off a little bit here and a little bit here, I'll be nice. So I'm just gonna trim up this stone. I'm gonna first check this side of it. I wanna come in a little bit on this side. So just a little bit there. And if you see, the stones are really thin on the edge. So this trimming process is really, really quick. Okay, so if you notice, I could take off a little bit more here and drag this down. It'll be slightly better. And that's why you kind of have to fit it in. It's not easy to see all these angles. Okay, now remember. So that fits nice, fairly nice and even. And then later, I'm gonna put other stones in and around here. See how that would fit right in there pretty nice without much trimming? So now that I've got that, I would back butter this, push this into place. Uh, you know, back butter this one, put this into place. And again, notice I have to keep the exact same placement. And then, once these are fixed, I might be using spacers up on the wall to hold it into the space. And then later, I'm just gonna grab my grout bag and I'll fill these joints in. And then, after an hour or so of it being in there, I'm gonna compress it, I'm gonna dig out some, so my mortar will cover this black, and but it'll be way down here in the face. So, it this, pointing water will be back probably three quarters of an inch from this face and almost flush down here at this low point. And then over here, it will just be down here. So like the top of my pinky will be the top of the mortar joint. Okay. And then you give it a little brush finished and you're done. So Boston blend round, a bush hammer. This has 25 points. This has, excuse me, that has 25 points. This one has 16 points. The, this is really one of the primary tools you need to trim up Boston Blend Round. This is David at stoneyard.com. Check us out on the website.